Today in the grain market, we'll start with soybeans. Soybeans was a little bit higher today, not that much, but the USDA report is coming tomorrow, and so everyone is kind of, of you know, kind of like wringing their hands, trying to figure out what this report's going to show us. Uh, we do know that right now Brazil uh, beans are still less expensive uh, for China, and so we know that they're going to continue to go there as we get closer and closer to uh, our own planting seasons, and uh, we, and we still continue to try to look for something positive to give a lift to our futures. Uh, that that fact is the, the fact about uh, Brazil uh, beans being um, you know easier for China uh, really puts a lid on any opportunity for a significant rally from our side. So we're watching closely. Uh, corn was steady today. The funds there are adding to the short position, which is actually kind of odd, and that's why I mentioned that. Uh, they already have a short position, and this is a strange time of year to be short, but to add to it just tells me that they don't expect the, the market to continue uh, to rally or to really get a big lift. I think if unless we get a trade deal, uh, nothing is going to happen. That really puts a complete cap on things. Now, I know that we, there was talk that, that uh, you know, we were getting closer, but now it seems to look like it's going to be a little bit more prolonged before we see any movement. That moves things to the end of May. Uh, I know to a real disappointment to a number of people in these grain markets to try to get the market, the, these, uh, these numbers uh, off the ground. But hopefully the WASI report tomorrow will start to show a little more equilibrium to give us somewhat of a lift. Wheat was kind of firm today too, but the weather is a number one issue. We're expecting a big blizzard at the end of this week. Uh, I think that that may, be, that may hurt some of the winter wheat uh, right now, as well as try to kind of, kind of uh, create a little bit of havoc with logistics about how we're going to be able to get some of these row crops in the ground, and then maybe there's going to be some juxtaposition as to uh, where the acres are going to go, or are they going to go uh, from corn to beans or beans to corn, and we're going to be watching for that closely in, in the next number of weeks.